impression to make. Even after all this chilly weather, I've been struggling to keep a coat or sweater by the door and <laughs> I'm getting caught off guard. Don't start now because it sounds like the, the weather is going to warm up, right? A couple more days, right. so okay. don't get them in rotation for too long. So but I don't feel bad then. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, you know how it is around here in the Carolinas. Things are going to change up fast on you, and that's the case for tonight. As you see it here, shaded in blue, we have a frost advisory. This includes the mountains. You can see it here. We have Avery, Watauga, and Ash counties there, also Caldwell and Burke counties in the foothills. You guys have that potential for some patchy frost. It's not likely to be widespread. However, we we could have some of those areas of frost developing throughout the overnight hours. That advisory will be in effect from 2 a.m. until 10 a.m. on Monday. Meanwhile, we're looking at clear skies, a live look from Monroe tonight. Beautiful views coming in from Mr. Sparky all across the area today. We had gorgeous blue skies throughout the weekend for that matter, and this will continue into your Monday. Tonight, however, we're coming in in the mid 50s across the board. Some of these temperatures are slow to cool down now as we approach midnight. However, we will drop these temperatures by at least 10 to 15 degrees. So that's a significant drop off between now and daybreak tomorrow. Now early this week, we'll look at overnight temperatures coming in in the low 40s, upper 30s on the low end of the scale. By midweek, it's going to stay dry. In addition to that, we're going to have some warmer air moving in as we move towards, say, Wednesday, Thursday, even into your Friday. Temperatures are going to warm up. I'll have an outlook on just how warm coming up with that seven day forecast. But first, it's going to get cold and that warm up will feel pretty nice as we make it through tonight and tomorrow night as temperatures will drop into the 30s and low 40s. What to wear? Here's a little bit of advice. Perhaps you'll want to have a coat on for tomorrow morning, especially by Tuesday morning. If you are stepping out, say the first few hours after daybreak, give or take a degree, an hour or two before and after uh, daybreak. And then by Wednesday, we'll start to see those overnight temperatures in the 40s and mid 40s and even into the 50s out the door for your Monday morning. Uh, I don't think we're going to have leaves falling like this. Nonetheless, we'll have clear skies and some pretty chilly temperatures by 9 a.m. will be in the mid 40s into your day and by the afternoon, a pretty nice looking day. Lots of sunshine, nice and bright, and we're going to see more of these leaves changing colors and temperatures will be around 70. Now going forward, temperatures will head above average as you see it here shaded in orange. This is an outlook over the next six to 10 days. There's a decent probability that our temperatures will come in uh, above where they should be for this time of year, and this will carry us through Halloween coming up on next Tuesday. So that we could be trendy on a warmer side for those costumes. So here's where we stand right now. So Wednesday 76 by Thursday still dry. You're not seeing any rain chances on the forecast as it stands right now by Saturday at 80 and we could have temperatures continuing to the upper 70s and low 80s throughout the weekend into early next week.